tell me how how that came about like tell me how you guys go from living totally separate lives to like now like you guys are planning a whole life together like within a matter of a year two years like <laughs> let me i go first with this so at the time i told you i was trying to move so uh yeah, so my mom was living in Texas. I knew at the time, I haven't lived with my mom since I was 18. So moving back in with my mom wasn't an option. So I was looking for apartments. By this time, I already done went down there, hung out with her and her friends. I'm like, oh yeah, it's a vibe down there. I can, I can, I can rock with Texas, basically. So make a long story short, I was just basically uh, looking for apartments. And I, I asked Deanna, like, who you live with? And she like, me and my uh, girl, we got a, I got a roommate, me and my friend, we got an apartment. And I'm like, I'm just trying to move to Texas at this point. I'm just trying to get down there. So I'm basically like, look, can I just live with y'all? I'll be a roommate. I pay rent. I sleep on the couch. I'm not tripping. I just need to get down there so I can go look for houses. I mean, look for apartments or whatever. She's like, yeah, you come down here. I'm not tripping. And um, so that was kind of like my ticket to texas after she gave me that okay my mom been telling me to move down there so after she was like yeah you can move in whatever my mom thinking i'm coming to move in with her meanwhile i already got my own plan in place just because i was ready to move around so yeah i booked my ticket actually i tried to book a ticket and uh yeah that's the funny part <laughs> so i tried to book a ticket and then i realized how how expensive it was to get all my stuff shipped so i told her like look if you want me to move down there you got to fly down here and we got to drive together that way, you know, I know you serious about me moving in, too, because I was still kind of like, you can't tell me you just live with your friend. You ain't got a boyfriend. Come on now. Like, I was born at night, not last night, you know, type <laughs> right, deal. Right, 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 right. So, anyway, so I'm like, if you serious about me moving, you will fly down here and drive with me. I got a car and everything. We just pack it up and go from there. Sure enough, she booked her ticket in Michigan. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is about to happen. And boom. <laughs> so, Yeah. Um, that was a funny adventure. Um, I'm gonna just, we packed up all his apartments and everything and we were still, you know, like he said, we wasn't too sure. So I know he have a past life, you know, I have a past life. So we still like, is this for real or whatnot? So we decided to, we're going to have bonding time and drive all his stuff back to Texas, 20 something hours. <clears throat> Yes, that was the trip of our life. It right. was very adventurous. Um, Elaborate we, on that. Let's it was that. very, very adventurous. I never in my life been in this situation. Oh, yeah. So let me tell it because it was my <laughs> car. So I had, at the time, I thought it was a nice car. You know, I was like, what, 21? With that little, it was uh, pretty. <laughs> little Lincoln, uh, what was it, Lincoln MKZ. So it was, it was good riding around everywhere. So I ain't never put it on the road like that. Man, we drove, what was it, 22 hours? We get to Missouri. No, first off, I'm sick, so I can't do road trips. So motion I'm, sickness. Motion okay. sickness. So I'm throwing up. So she's Strike doing one. a whole ride herself, basically. I'm in the passenger seat curled up. Sick. But For I'm real. hearing the wheel wobble. And at the same time, I'm like, I'm sick, so I'm hearing it. I'm not paying no attention. We fill it up, get gas. And I'm like, hold up. That wheel wobbling. Make a long story short, we get back on the freeway. Whole wheel come off. Like gone. Gone. Like <laughs> flew off. The police, nobody could find our wheel. <laughs> like flew off on the freeway. So I wake up, our whole break is shooting sparks on the freeway. Right. I'm like, pull over, pull over, pull over. So look, we on the side of the freeway for about two hours. I'm looking for the tire. I'm legit in the fields looking for this tire. Police finally pull up on us uh, and they help us get the spare out, put the spare on there. Man, and mind you, I, I was moving to Texas, so we had to unpack the whole trunk full of clothes and uh, moving stuff just to get the spare from underneath. It was crazy. Then um, the spare went out. Remember, the spare went out. It was spare, bad because uh, they, was, they was harassing us because they couldn't understand why he was sick. Yeah. So they was interrogating us. So it was funny and scary at the same time because here we are State with a troopers. missing tire. Like our tire is completely missing. Vanished. Gone. Nobody can find it. And then <laughs> he's throwing up on the side of the road. The state troopers is asking us questions. And he's like, Bleh, throwing up, literally. For real. So Just now they're like, like hold up. Are y'all under the influence? Is something wrong with y'all? Where y'all coming from? Where y'all going? What y'all doing? They have all these questions. And it just went from there. Um, 
we spent hours trying to get a tire. We eventually had to get, we did, we had to get in a tow truck and all that stuff. We ended up getting a tire. We made it to Texas and, um, yes, he moved in and he has OCD. So his experience wasn't as pleasant as he thought it was going to be. Um, right. and I'll let him take over. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, right. I had a little dog, guys. Yeah, but, so, you guys, okay, at this point, you, uh, you've made it, you've made it to Texas. Deanna, you, uh, you agreed to what Curtis said, and, um, you guys had, and, uh, I want to call, what I want to call an amazing trip <laughs> so to, funny. to, to Texas, and you guys finally make it, and, um, so, yeah, when, when Curtis first moved in, was marriage something that was, like, immediately on the table, or, because, like, we're talking, we're talking 2015 here, and if, if, you know, for the people who know the timeline, you guys are a year, maybe less than a year away from an engagement, so is, was marriage... Yeah, was marriage was marriage something that was uh, immediately on the table, or were were you just looking just to you know kind of make the transition, and you were helping a friend out? Like, just tell me tell me about the relationship at the time when you got to Texas. Right, right. So honestly, I didn't even know if that was my girlfriend or not. Like I said, I went in there straight intentions on her being my roommate, just not like like not we like was that. kicking it. I just. We was cool, but like I said, I didn't. I didn't know. Wasn't I just kind of went to. Wasn't nothing. We was just. Yeah, I just was moving to Texas, you know, and then I'm still like, bro, she gotta have a boyfriend. Like, it don't make sense. She gotta have a boyfriend. So anyway, I'm moving to Texas, and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna play the back row. We going to parties. We going to events. Like I said, Texas is different. So we doing something every day. Like it's summertime when I move. It's August. So we going to festivals, boat parties. Clubs. I'm talking about every day. I'm like this lit, but we. I'm. It's me, probably two other dudes in a room full of girls. So I don't know how to do it. Should I kick it? Like, should I? Should I be cordial? It's me and Deanna kicking it. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I obviously, me respecting the, the person who bring me down here. I'm just playing my back row. So then one day I basically just kicked it to her. Like, what's up? Do we go together? Like, what is we really doing here? Like. You feel me? Because I'm not with the roommate, so that's what it was. Like, no disrespect to the roommate. We were sleeping together, and we was sleeping, like, in the same bed, but we wasn't together. So, how, that was hard for a man. He wanted answers. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure. Like, like I said, we hanging out every day, doing everything. She's showing me around Texas. I'm like, so this my girlfriend or not? But I always knew the vibe was there. Like, we always, even just having conversations, not even uh, on some boyfriend-girlfriend stuff, just... We just always click like our conversation we always can just roll like like i said we was just there having fun together just not thinking about marriage yeah not thinking about marriage at, at the time for sure right. 